Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. Please press the like button, subscribe, share, comment. I am always looking forward to the dialogue and I also appreciate it when you guys conversate with each other on this channel through the comment section. So today's video, I'm going to address my plate carrier that you've probably have seen in a lot of my videos and the patches. I have a, we have a brand new audience. And what I mean by that is there's like over 2,000 or 1,000 new subscribers since I've made another video describing what I do in my everyday life and what, are, what, what I do in my career. So just to clear the air, right now as we stand, I do not work private security in a capacity where I am at a post or on security patrol. I don't, I don't work private security in that way. What I do is I consult with private security company managers and owners of security companies. I help them get their company started from the ground up. And I also help them pass the California private patrol operator exam in the private security aspect of my operations. That is what I do. So I'm not at a post. I don't wear the, this plate carrier at any type of assignment as it relates to private security. Now you're probably wondering about the patch. It says security. And then my shirt, which I got from 1350, their store in Florida. See how it's a security? I don't wear this on duty anywhere. One of the reasons why I have this channel, one of the many reasons why, and I'm fully transparent with you guys, is I want to get into affiliate marketing. I want marketers, not marketers, but I want companies out there seeing that I am actually using equipment and I'm vouching for some other, even clothing, their equipment and their clothing. And this is something that I use in, in the field. Um, if you don't know about affiliate marketing, marketing, it's maybe something that you want to get into. So I've been, that's one of my goals is to get into affiliate marketing. I'm not associated with any company, by the way, right now as I, as I speak, but maybe in the future, the next year or a couple of years, that's what I want to do. I want to get to affiliate marketing. I want to get equipment. I've been buying all this stuff with my own money and testing it out in the real world. Um, these shirts, I can't test out in the real world. Well, this particular security shirt, cause I don't work security. Um, I, I work in law enforcement and the other day I was training with the same exact shirt that says police, not security, in 103, 105 degree weather with 25% humidity and I, I, I trained with that. So I could tell you that these are excellent shirts, they do keep you cool, they do wick the, most, the moisture away from you. Having said that, um, let's talk about the carrier real quick. Um, the Security solution, the Security Training and Solutions University channel, by the way, um, commented to somebody else on why I'm wearing the security patch. Guys, I am not making any mockery of private security. I love you guys. This whole channel is about, most of the channel is about private security. If, if I didn't have private security officers, private security professionals on the channel, I probably wouldn't even have a channel. So in no way am I making a mockery of anybody uh, guys, sometimes I have a bad sense of humor when there is maybe a dead body or something like that or somebody died. My, my coping skills with something like that is, is humor and it's dark humor. I, I know some of you know exactly where I'm coming from, but that's how I cope with death and destructiveness is, is, is humor. Um, with the security patch, the reason why I'm wearing the security patch, and I try my best at comedy, I know I do a horrible job doing that, but all I'm trying to do is connect with my audience exactly as the University Training Solutions channels mentioned. Um, that's why I'm wearing these patches, is to connect with my audience. If I wore police patches, would, that connect with, would I be connecting with my audience? Most of my audience, who are, who are in, the, in the police field, most of them are almost retired or they've been retired and they're in private investigations. Some of them private security, but most in private investigations. So if I put police stuff, I, there's no way that I would connect to the majority of my audience. So let's talk about this play carrier that you might be interested in. Um, you see an AR mag in my law enforcement job, I have immediate access to an AR-15. By the way, guys, in the comment section below, try not to mention the words AR-15. You are going to get flagged by YouTube. Um, try something Try something else. Because every time you mention that word, it gets to the hell for review section. 
as if you said a bad word or something like that. But anyhow, um, bullets, bullets face buckle. Okay, so if my buckle is this way, bullets face this way. That's why my carrier is set up this way. Um, this is my AR mag here, which I carry my carrier, and then additional pistol mag. This carrier has an eight by 10 plate, the front and back. It's only, it's only eight by 10, and it's level three rated. This is basically your minimalist. At, at a bare minimum, this is the coverage that you want. I do have a body camera attachment here. This is for, your, for my um, Axum cameras. It'll connect right on here. And then I do have a first aid, CPR, and uh, tactical response medical kit right in here. Um, this flap that you see right here, it's kind of hard to show on camera. This is actually a level 3A soft armor. So four rounds will typically pass right through here without any type, type of issue. The University Training and Solutions channel caught on really, really quick to my carrier. This is basically just for active shooter situations or situations where I just need to throw something on real quick. That's it, real quick, and I have coverage. Are there vests that have more coverage? Yes, but they're a lot more heavier. With this, I can, I can run pretty fast. I mean, some of you might think I'm slow, but I can run pretty fast. It's only 13 pounds. Some of you wondering, why is there only one magazine? Okay, again, I'm a minimalist. Would I be better off with two magazines? Yes. But if I have two magazines, would you say I would be better off with three? Yes. If I have three magazines, would you be telling me that I'd be better off with four? Yes. And then the numbers keep going on and on and on. So basically what I have is two magazines because if I have some type of malfunction or issue, it'll probably be for the first magazine, the second magazine would probably solve the issue. Guys, I am not going to, I've never been in the military, by the way, but I'm not going to any foreign country. Uh, I'm not going to, to Mexico where I'm going to far, fight the cartels. That's, that's, that's not what I do on, on, a, on, a, on a weekly basis. Um, if I were to do something like that, then I would have a full-blown setup with maybe six magazines. Maybe more than that. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't even have a pistol on me. Again, it depends on the branch branch that you're in. Also, if the threat is not going down, you might be having a marksmanship problem and not an ammunition shortage. Also, in law enforcement and private security, in most circumstances, you cannot be laying down suppressive fire, unlike in the military where it's open desert and open jungle. But this is the minimalist setup. You just throw it on and then you go. I always have this on my front passenger seat or in the back, but this, this setup is, is it's great. It's lightweight, it's only 13 pounds. And I have the level 3A, which will protect my lower abdomen. I do know that there's a little portion here that's not covered, but again, this is a minimalist. This is for the minimalist, first aid kit, that's it. Just my, my active shooter kit. Some of you are wondering if there's other ways that you could connect with me and my content. I actually have an Instagram channel, it's called The Firearms Trainer. I have about a dozen or more of you that are that have followed me on that channel as well. It's called The Firearms Trainer. If you are interested in firearms, you're interested in tactics, that channel might be for you. So just go ahead and check it out.